Hi guys, so, um, I'm actually just finishing up my nails. Um, I'll show you guys the colors in a sec again. Um, I'm actually just going to do like a, a nail tutorial, um, basically. Just showing around my different nail colors. So, yeah. Okay, so the first one is from Sally Hansen, and this one is Pumping Iron 850. Um, you know, this color is very dull very pigmented um and this is the silver the next two are from pure ice's collection um i believe pure ice just put out a new collection um sparkles uh, i think they just put out a sparkle collection um i'll have to check the walmart website um, because that's where they're selling the nail polish, the pure ice. Um, this one is my favorite. Celestial. And this one is just a purple. The next two are from a new nail polish product called Sinful Colors. This one is actually a very pigmented. You could see all the shines in it. That is not my light. I can literally see it here too. It's like green and yellow pigmented pigments. So this is called Just You Wait. Um, yeah. And... This one is my all-time favorite from Sinful Colors. This is called Snow Me White. Um, I used to wear this all the time, but here's the thing with the white and the black. Um, they tend to kind of leave a harsh residue on your nails, and a lot of people don't like that. So, I'd recommend putting on a bottom coat first so that you don't get any of that residue on your nails and then do that and then your top coat um so yeah here are the labels So, um, yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys the nail polish remover that I use. It's actually pretty cheap and inexpensive. Also, a design plate. You can get these now at Kroger's. They sell them at the little, um, as seen on TV. Um, these are very cute. They're like little designs and it comes with a push pen. All you do is put a little bit of, I'll just show you guys. Put a little bit of nail polish 
in the creases of the design splotch. And now you would take your um little uh splotcher but I lost mine so I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to just move this around and then I'm going to take it again and move that around it's just getting the excess stuff off And see, you can see a little tiny flower. Um, let me show you again. So we're going to put the purple on the dragonfly. Now, I'm going to take a the back of a knife and I'm just going to push it out oops and push it out so take your paper push you want the design incorporated in so um push it's right in there um, so yeah, this is actually a great thing for nails. Um, it comes with at least four to five. Um, four to five circles that, and a scraper so you can get the access off before you put the, the dolloper on. The dopper on and then you can get a clean nice little design on your nails um yeah this is just a scrubber and I'm just using it to get off any of the wet paint so that it doesn't dry. Um, okay, so how you get this nail polish off here, flip it face down with the logo showing. You flip it face down in a little circle of, um, nail polish remover and you let that sit for about an hour to an hour and a half then what you're going to do is you're going to flip it back over take it out with a pair of tweezers or tongs because you don't want to mess up your already perfect nails and you're just going to take it out flip it so that it's on the silver side then you're going to take a paper towel I'm just going to demonstrate here you're going to take a paper towel and dip the excess out of the bowl and you're just going to wipe just wipe the rest of it off. I recommend using gloves. But here, the clean side versus the dirty side. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um... I'll actually post another video up tomorrow showing you how to properly clean this again um, using the right tools. So I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.